guys uh, good uh, afternoon you are well welcome once again you are welcome back to catfish solution please yeah today you are watching the part three of uh, my our mentorship uh, and mentorship consultancy uh, program to abel kuta in Ogun state so that is where we are still uh, today and um, uh, i told you we are taking all process today that means uh, we are stocking the pond we are also uh, making some breeding process and um, we are um, uh, mentoring the farm we are checking loopholes and we are making sure that the farm run to success so that is the purpose of uh, bringing us uh, here yeah from the video you discover that we had the part one which um, i titled um, uh, the uh, latency period that means the period that we injected the fishes uh, uh, and the period that we i made the part two also that means the period we uh, made the joining to abe okuta yeah and um, the third part that means the part three will be the incubating um, pre period that means the incubating process yeah i told you the if you are going into breeding process the number one um, uh, process you go through is the uh, blue stock selection that means the identification of a very good blue stock degrading and the uh, selection what i mean by degrading is that to grade a very good blue stock you must avoid what we call the inbreed inbreed are one of the major problem of uh, uh, premature archery death high mortality and uh, uh, unstoppable uh, mortality so inbreed is very very dangerous because it's like when you are producing a premature fires and uh, producing a premature fires coupled with the stress they may go through uh, from your uh, handling process and co and co this can be highly dangerous yeah from that you are watching from the screen this is about time taking out the uh, male mint that means the spam for the incubating uh, process and um, you must identify a very good blue stocks by many ways i told you the male and to get a very good and perfect uh, mint for your production which is uh, what we all aim hard in getting uh, in any time we are doing breeding you must get a very milky milky mint that means the spam must be highly milky and it must be fresh and it must bogus and it must be at least bigger that tells you that this is a perfect and good uh, uh, mint for the screen as you are watching i will show you uh, what we got here and it is marvelous the uh, mint is very very perfect big and uh, this is highly milky that can produce not less than even six female blue stocks depending so this is what we got as you see this is just from a film a male uh, spawner this is just from a male uh, parent stock so you can see the extent of a very good and uh, quality uh, blue stock uh, mint where we got from the yeah, blue stock yeah let me take you further after you might have um, uh, dissecting and uh, taking out the mint from the male blue stock the second thing to target is uh, you need to pick up your female as you can see from the screen and then the females are they have been injected i told you depending on the area you are they have been injected and the process you are seeing there if you're a novice is that it is important for you to close their eyes if you don't want them to disturb you too much if you don't want them to struggle much because uh, they are already being induced and they don't need uh, too much stress so you need to cover their their eyes 
the first thing to do is to target their eyes and cover it so once you did that they will be calm they will be calm and they can uh, admit the uh, massaging process that means the spawning process uh, you may be uh, giving them so this is what they call the span the, the stripping process sorry this is what you call stripping stripping is a bit of massaging in order to release the head from the female blue stocks and the error and the danger of this is that you must be very very watchful of blood stain whenever you notice the blood stain from the female blue stock that tells you to stop it tells you to stop and then um, you must understand the direction direction of the head that means based on the person that is holding it with uh, the, you are holding it together the direction of the eggs is very very important for you to also observe yeah i told you earlier that the incubating period is the period that the fertilization process started in the breeding process incubating period is virtually uh, it takes well over since 40 percent of your ashri uh, ashri uh, period that means it's it's this is the time that is uh, you need to be careful in order to get a very good result in your breeding uh, process so incubating period this is the pro this is the period you uh, sterilize your incubator you clean up your incubator you uh, fill up your incubator you check your uh, the, your kakaban uh, this is the period that you sterilize every materials you are using and this is the period that you uh, strip out the egg uh, from the uh, female bull stock and you had the mint that means adding the mint adding the spam into it to uh, start the fertilization process note your fertilization process started start from here that you are watching it started from here so that is it you can see that i'm uh, splitting some of the mint into the uh, eggs and uh, that is when the fertilization process uh, started because one immediately you uh, put the mint that means you spread the mint on the eggs you started noticing the fertilization process that means some of the eggs will turn white depending on uh, how the fertilization will be so that tells you those eggs that turns white immediately are not good eggs they are floating eggs that uh, they will not produce this will not uh, produce uh, any fryer so that is the process we are on to and the good thing about it is that you need to understand uh, the mixing you need to uh, mix it immediately so after mixing for those of you that are using a spoon to mix please you need to be very very careful yeah you may use a, a rubber spoon but uh, the iron that means the stainless steel spoon to me is not really advisable and if you are using the plastic spoon make sure that you steer it gently yeah gently i said because once you oversteer this will um, give you more of a, a disabled uh, priors what i call disabled priors is that you can sometimes you notice when your um, your priors have uh, turns to jumbo or juvenile size that you can see very well you will notice some of them that they are their belly are bent that means they are disabled they have some of them will have what we call the hunchback some of them will not be straight uh, some of them will 
uh, will be I don't know there are a lot of you will just see that they are not normal so all these are the cause of uh, uh, these so you need to steer very steer gently because this may automatically affect uh, the hex so this is just a warning for you guys for those of you who have come across those things and um, they don't know why it appears so that is how it appears it's just for you to be noticed yeah so let's go more further from the screen you will be seeing that uh, we injected uh, about three female fishes and uh, and that is what we are using today and uh, the process has to be one by one one by one uh, the essence of you doing one by one is one to really know which one of them is good and the best that the one that is doing better if you uh, like you put everything together like most people do I, I do it too sometimes it's uh, not that to save that you do it one by one because if there's a problem in a certain egg this will automatically affect uh, the other eggs and I am very very sure you will not want to make any mistake maybe because it may be maybe when you buy the bootstock yourself bootstock is very very expensive now and you want to waste the money money haul so you need to be very very careful of taking that kind of a risk yeah before i go for that make sure that you subscribe to our youtube uh, page make sure that you follow us uh, on uh, facebook make sure that you follow us and uh, on twitter you follow us on uh, instagram you follow us on our linking make sure that uh, you always follow us you get the link to our blog so that you can watch most of the videos that we release on a daily basis and for those of you who have not pressed on the notion button on our youtube channel this is the time for you to do that make sure that you go out there to press on the uh, notification uh, bell this will tell you when we release a new video on the, this channel and uh, these are just the process that you need to know and make sure that you watch the part four because on the part part four i'll be giving some verbal lectures which i know uh, you will be interested in uh, getting knowledge about this so make sure that you uh, may watch the part four too as well and um, this is how the process is is just a simple process this is what we call the archery process so the process is of three uh, categories i told you yes four categories that means preparation of your pond the selection of your boost stock so the preparation of your pond take care of your water too as well it takes care of uh, your water you test your water you uh, prepare your pond after preparing your pond you um, uh, you go through your latency period your you go through your uh, um, incubating period that is all so the next thing is a uh, the fires management so but these are the key and these are the main point so 